Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards. And today we're taking a look at an interesting keyboard that came across my Amazon feed the other day and I was like, why not? I, I have not heard of this keyboard before. I did, did not find much about this keyboard. So I was like, hmm, let's give it a shot. It's it, very interesting. It is uh, from the brand Loga. It is a Yaxa Pro. So. And it's a TKL, as you can see, but it has a bit of a funky design. So let's go ahead and uh, get into her. Pretty sturdy, um, even the outer box. It's definitely packed well. I mean, this isn't the cheapest. This isn't the cheapest cardboard. I mean, it's it's not hard, but it was packaged quite well. So, before we check out the keyboard, let's see what we have here as far as accessories go. We have your standard wire switch and keycap cord, and a USB-C to USB-A cable with a nylon braid. And as you can see, it has some very interesting lines. This is what actually, I mean, really caught my eye. So it has, I mean, you see that? That's a side blow. Cool plug it in here in a second. I just want to kind of go through why when I saw it, I, I, it just interested me. It caught my eye, literally. Um, obviously, it's very meant for RGB enthusiasts, um, which, I mean, I can't say that I'm not. <laughs> go so, ahead and plug her in. So as you can see, it has some nice, I mean, it's an RGB glow that goes all the way around. And as you can see, some of these keys are actually cut out so they have more of a window for the RGB beneath to come through. Now, obviously, the keycaps can be replaced, but the design alone of it, I mean, even in this little area, that little notch, as LED diffuse. I mean, I know it's not, I mean, that's aesthetics, but I mean, people pay a lot of money for USB cables. Having this just slight changes, but really nice changes, I mean, really makes this an interesting keyboard, I've got to say. Now, I do believe I got this one with reds. Let's go ahead. These are oh, they're actually Gator on red. So we're not dealing with uh, the cheapest of the cheap. They're actually Gator on red. So 35 millimeter, but you can definitely hear that spring. And let's see if we got. All right, we got five pin compatibility, obviously. Well, thankfully. Oh, but we don't seem to have. Yep, there's no padding between the plate and the PCB, and there doesn't even seem to be any case dampening. So. That's what's given a, a, a nice echo chamber for these unlubed reds. It's um, it's a shame. I mean, this is it's a it's a cool design. Why would you forego, you know, just adding some damping? Um, and perhaps providing maybe a, a switch that's, I mean, I guess a get around red is fine, but there are budget pre-lubed, you know, factory lubed switches so that at least the ping wouldn't 
wouldn't be there. Um, this board goes for $80 on Amazon. So now the design features and everything I, I like, but I feel that them skipping out on that, on padding, on any dampening inside of the board or between the plate and PCB is just is detrimental. I mean, it's cool and all, and obviously, you know, there was some thought put into this design, but I just don't think it's going to cut the chut. <laughs> anyway, so it's a TKL from a company I've never heard before. Um, steel plate. So let's get technical. This is the Lo Loga Yaxa Pro. It is a TKL uh, that has an interesting profile, design, and side lighting. It retails for $80 on Amazon. It has three different uh, typing angles. The first one, or the natural one, um, leaves it at a seven and a half degree angle with a back height of 31 millimeters. The chin sits at 20 millimeters. If you pull out the first set of legs, you're going to have a back height of 36 millimeters and your angle of typing is gonna go up to 10 degrees. And if you use the final set of legs, you're gonna get 42.5 millimeters as your back height with a 12 and a half degree typing angle. Now this keyboard, uh, you do have the choice of getting it um, with a Gatoron reds, browns, blues, uh, but they do not come lubed and this keyboard does not have any padding whatsoever. So I'm not expecting it to sound very good during the sound test. I definitely, though I like the design elements, I fear, or I feel that they did not go far enough in fully building this out. I mean, why make the effort to make what is what I consider a pretty keyboard and not at least add some dampening. I mean, at the, at the very least. But I'm not the designer, so I don't have much say in that. This was the Yaxa Pro. Um, it is pretty keyboard, but I feel that due to the choices they made in the design, it's not going to sound very good. And I don't think that it's worth the effort I have to put into it after paying what I did for it. I think. I mean, if this keyboard was $35, $40, I'd definitely put the work into it. But at $80, it should at least have some sort of case dampening or plate PCB dampening or both, but at the very minimum. But the fact they skipped those things just makes it to me not a worthwhile buy. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with a stock sound test of this Loga Yaxa Pro. And until next transmission, keep calm, keyboard on.